Welcome players, it's time to roll the dice and draw the king of gambling himself, King Dice. Alright guys, get a pencil and paper and colored pencils and let's get started. First step, go to the bottom of your paper and make his left shoe. Now like the other Cuphead characters, his shoes are very similar, they're very round and very cartoony, kind of like Mickey Mouse shoes, if you ever saw Mickey Mouse. He has bow tie type of lacing around his feet, which we'll get to that momentarily. We're just doing a basic outline of the character until we get to the head. So it's a very simple round shoe. It's big in the front, but it's smaller going towards the back. Now we're going to go ahead and make his pants leg. Now this man is actually wearing a suit, so we're going to make him a nice tailored suit. So make sure that the leg is medium size, it's not too thin and it's not too big. And we're going to go up. Now King Dice is a pretty tall character, so we're going to give him some nice tall legs. And then once we get to the crotch area, we're going to go ahead and go down and make our second leg, which is pretty much the same leg. Make sure you get those curves in. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other shoe. Just make it small in the back, and then round and big in the front. And don't forget his heel. We'll add little details like the shoelaces later. Now, to finish off our pants, we're going to go ahead and add the back part of his suit, the back flap. And then we're going to go ahead and go up, make his torso. And as we're making his torso, make his right hand, which is going to be a circle. And once you do that, make his arm, which is going to be bended to his side. Now his elbow has a little bump on it. Just make sure you capture that. Now inside the suit, we're going to go ahead and make the detailing. So, of course, like his other hand, it's a circle, but this time he has fingers. He has a total of three fingers, like many of the Cuphead characters. One's going to be, his index finger is going to be pointing outwards. And just make simple things like his suit vest, his collars, and his tie. They're pretty simple. King Dice consists of mostly round shapes. Now his left arm is going to be poking out to the left. Just making sure you get those round curves down. And now we're going to go ahead and make a cube that's going to fit on the entire um, spot of his uh, shoulders. And then we're going to go ahead and make his the little round divot in, for his mouth. Erase that little part where the lines are intersecting. Then make his very cheeky, devilish smile. Add a center line there. And make some teeth. It's a very cartoony 1930s teeth. Then we're going to go ahead and make his mustache. A round nose. It kind of reminds me of uh, Wario or actually no, uh, Waluigi. Now I actually played with his eyes a bit because the source image that I was looking at made him look too cheerful and he is of course a villain so we want him to look more villainous and you know, more devilish. He is a sleazy casino owner after all. So these eyes that you see me do are not going to be the same eyes that uh, I'm not going to keep these, these eyes because I'm going to play with them and that's what I would do. If you're drawing any character, whether it be original or not, you kind of just want to play with your emotions and see what, which emotion, you know, whether you want them to be angry or sad or curious. But we want him to look very sleek. Now, as you can see, I'm erasing little bits and pieces there. What I would recommend, as you're making his face, that you also make the, uh, the cube around it. So I wouldn't recommend making the cube at first because that's that didn't really help me too much. So I just made his facial features and then I made the, the square as I went on. Now, of course, on the top side there are there are five 
there are, uh, sorry, there are five circles or dots there, and then on the other side um, there are going to be four dots. And then you can see me giving, getting a, an expression that I like. I made the left eye a little bit bigger, and then the other eye a little bit smaller, just to give off a little bit more emotion or curiosity mixed with, you know, uh, devilish looks. Because, you know, uh, besides the devil, uh, King Dice is the second most devilish character in the game. I make his Pac-Man eyes, of course. And the eyebrows can, can you know, intercept the lines, uh, the top line of the cube. So that's fine right there. Now we're going to go ahead and go back, add a little zipper down there for his pants, and add two circles for his shirt vest. Add some detailing in his bow, his bow tie, his fancy bow tie, and the three little marks on his gloves for that signature 1930s look. And then make the simple little bow ties or lacings for his shoes. And there you go, there's an overall look of the sketch. You can pause if you want, and once we're done sketching, we're going to go ahead, grab a fine point or an ultra fine point sharpie, and then trace the entire drawing if you want. But if you do not, it will mess up with the coloring process because the pencil will show up, and since the when you're coloring, the will the color will expose the pencil lines and kind of make it look sloppy. So I would recommend erasing the pencil lines after you trace everything with a sharpie. Now, go ahead and get out a purple colored pencil. Now, this is not a Crayola colored pencil I'm using, but anything, just a straight up color, purple colored pencil will do. I wouldn't recommend using violet purple because it just looks more blue than actual purple. And I used a dark base tone for King Dice's pants. He uses multiple different shades of purple then color the little sleeves of his pants darker to give that extra tone of shading. And then I went ahead and shaded his shoes with a light purple and added a little square shine on both of them. So that's what I would recommend doing to give it that nice fancy detail. And for his jacket, it has a lighter, a medium um, shade of purple. So I would recommend starting out with a light base tone, and as you're working up, go ahead and you know work to a, a shade that is satisfactory to you or that looks right in the drawing. So I'm coloring in his sleeve with a dark purple. So when you're drawing a character that has a very cartoony character like this that has uh, sleeves and clothing that that you can see inside the sleeves and and whatnot. Um, you, I would recommend coloring it dark with whatever color the suit has. Like for example, if a character is wearing a black suit and the sleeves are exposed inside, go ahead and darken that black. Or if it's wearing a red suit, red, uh, you know, dark red. And this is pretty much simple here. Just color the tie dark, and then color the vest with a light shade of purple. It's going to be the lightest shade of purple in the drawing. Now, you might not see this because the light is reflecting, and whether I have the light on or off, um, it does look like an off blue color, but it is purple. I promise I won't be lying to you, unlike King Dice, of course. He is a very sleazy fellow after all. And he doesn't have much coloring in his uh, face, just color the dots um, with a dark purple, color his nose with a medium sized purple, and also do the same with his eyelids. Also, don't forget the shine in his eyelids, too, just like with his boots. And then lightly color his cheeks with that same shade of purple that we had for his vest shirt. Alright, now once we're done cleaning up, coloring our drawing, we're going to go ahead and take a fine point sharpie and the color around his shoes. Give him that little overcasting shadow to give a more cartoony vibe. And you can see I can, I'm cleaning up, I'm you know, 
coloring different spots that I haven't went over before. So yes, I do like coloring this guy because he, he uses one color. He's, it's very simple to color, he just uses one color, which is purple of course, but there's different shades incorporated with it. And it was very interesting coloring him. I liked it. I don't think I ever colored a character before that only used, you know, one base, one basic color. So there we go, we're cleaning up around the edges. And guys, once you have that, you have the sleazy casino owner himself, King Dice from the game Cuphead. Don't deal with the devil, especially when the devil's right-hand man is King Dice. Alright guys, well this is pretty fun to draw. I hope you enjoyed this drawing tutorial. If it was helpful, just let me know in the comment section below. Now with that being said, go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And guys, Press Start to Draw is signing out.